As NTSB investigators continue to look into what happened, what went wrong, we're getting a look at the moments leading up to that catastrophic collision. Fox 10's Troy Hayden breaks down the video frame by frame. So some interesting things to see if you really break down uh, this tape. It's a pretty amazing video that was taken when this terrible accident happened. So go ahead and take this full screen if you would. You can see the ship. I'm going to back it up just here. Look to the left part of your screen. You can see the ship coming in, and there are definitely lights on at the ship right here. You would think the ship had power at this point, and then all of a sudden the lights go off. The ship from this forward, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, speeding it up for you here, does not appear to be steering at all. And there's one interesting thing I want you to look at, and that's right here. This, I believe, is right in the area where the exhaust from the ship's engines would come out, and you don't see any exhaust coming out at all. So the ship, again, light, then dark, and it does not appear to be steering. So now let's fast forward a little bit, and we'll go to this next piece of video. So here we go. The ship's lights are out. All of a sudden, they turn back on. So out, on. And then again, look right here. So here's that smokestack in that area. I'm going to get rid of that. Put it forward. Now look, all of a sudden, you start seeing exhaust or smoke coming out of that smokestack. Is this the point where the engines uh, got turned back on or fired back up again? So again, uh, lights off, lights on, exhaust coming out of the top of the ship. And it looks like the ship is really trying to steer here, especially the tail end of the ship is kind of going out and trying to steer around that bridge. Unfortunately, as we all know at this point, it is not able to do that. So let's go to the point of impact, and that's right here. So this is uh, the starboard side of the bow connects right there with the pylons of the bridge. And you can see it's probably water and cement shooting out as it first hits right there. And then these ships, keep in mind, 220,000 tons fully loaded just took all that concrete out, and the bridge just comes right down. So again, one more time. Coming in, it appears there's a light on on the ship, but it hits that pylon, collapses this side of the bridge, then the second side of the bridge goes down. Uh, so again, a tragic accident in Baltimore. Obviously, that bridge needs to be rebuilt. Uh, so much work in that harbor. But just, uh, you know, as investigators work through this, some interesting things to look at in that video. Troy Hayden, Fox 10 News.